The winter months here in Ohio typically prevent much opportunity for outdoor work at a backyard golf hole. But a recent mile stretch over the last few weeks has allowed me to tackle a new tee box project. Not only are we opening up the Force 4 to this elevated tee box, but the main inspiration was to gain some more sunlight for the stressful summer months and get a few more hours of PM sunshine on our bent grass green. Welcome back to Spud Run Golf, guys. I'm Jeremy here in Southern Ohio. Today, we're going to continue to work on this elevated tee box way above. I mean, right now, I'm just standing up here on this, this future tee box, and as I look at it, I'm probably hitting a 130-yard shot. It's downhill. I don't know that for sure, but uh, it's going to be tricky. We've got the creek short, you know, bunkers long, several challenges from up here. The biggest challenge is going to be getting up here. It's going to be a struggle, whether it's a golf cart or my fat ass walking up. You just saw me take down those first three trees. Got several more to take down. There's a nice white oak I'm going to snag. But before we go any farther, I want to get this mess cleaned up before we take down any more trees. And you saw that one, uh, that first one I cut. Pretty sketchy when you're dealing with hollow trees, you know, I'm back here by myself in the woods. Well, you're going to have to pretend now. Got a ball here. I got my 52 probably. Obviously, I got a couple more trees to take down. The remaining trees down there are the ones that's probably going to fall down by the creek towards the green. Got one big white oak. That is severely leaning towards the green. I think you can start to see that come together. You know, this is a vision that I saw. This approach from this tee to that green is very steep. I'm not going to plant seed on it. It's going to let it be natural forest floor, I guess. And then the cart path where it comes up, and it's going to loop back down around. So there again, it should, if there's multiple groups playing, this will actually buy some time. And the, the overall scheme of keeping things moving, as a group would finish that green, they've got to drive up and around. They've got a nice view to watch that group behind them finish out. That group's done. This guy's hitting. This group's already down there before the next group gets up. Theoretically. You know, my buddies would be drinking beers and pissing. As I sit in the operator's seat, we've got my old buddy Micah. Right now we're up a big old poplar that's kind of wanting to go towards the golf green, so we're using a track hoe to kind of push it away. Since we can't play golf, I mean, buddies just drink beer and cut trees. All right, you hacks, another day, another dollar. So we got those trees all out of the way. I feel real good about the trees, the opening. Uh, now I decided to put another tee box on the upper side of that car path I built. But I need to take a skid loader up here on the west rim of the property and get some stones. There's tons of stones up on this side. I say stones, I'm talking about boulders. Huge rocks. I mean huge. Come on. I guess we'll call that number 18. Almost nine, guys. Number nine, I've got an idea for a par four up by the mill shop. It'll be, I'd like to get one around 400 to 410 for that last par four. And that'll wrap us up. We'll have that done, hopefully, by this spring. High above the west rim of the property, I came up here to harvest some rocks for that tee box retaining wall, and I got into a heck of a mess. So now I've got to try to get this track back on in the middle of nowhere. All I've got is my phone camera, so I don't have a tripod or nothing. I'll try to set this down, but I basically got pressure, so I'm going to try to get in the skid loader, put it in reverse, and hopefully this pressure get that back over in the track. I think it will, I hope. back on the, the sprocket but not on the bottom either now i think if i just lift this whole skid loader up off the ground i can get that back on by hand hopefully pump some more grease in it we are back in business guys so we got that track back on that was kind of a pain in the butt that's just the way it goes sometimes you know you get going and Stuff happens, especially when you have equipment. So we're on the west side right here. There's a really big hill up here. The sun's just kind of peeking over it now. But I'll show you here all these stones. This whole hillside is just littered with them. Thousands and thousands of them. So we're, we're putting them to use anywhere we can. Like we got a little mini cabin up on the hill uh, on, on the east rim. 
and I use some stones up there. I use these stones whenever I can to just aesthetically make things work. But like we're doing today, it's actually gonna look good and it's gonna function by holding that upper tee box down. Most of the time I just like to use a skiddler to pick these up, but these are kind of back behind. There's some big ones in my way. So we're gonna try to go just sit these down in the bucket. Like I'm a little too far away, I better get a little closer. I'm talking really fast, I don't know why. And I just dropped it, because I was talking fast. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, we only get a couple in each one. Uh, so that one. That one might be good for the end. So I'm going to need a little step. Let's set this one out of the way. We'll get it next trip. Here's a couple good ones right there. Take me about 12 minutes to make a round trip carrying these boulders. So you can do some quick math, and I can tell you that it's been a rock solid day. <laughs> we got jokes here today, Spud Run Golf guys. This will probably be maybe one or two more loads that we're gonna get the X Fair down here, or up here, I guess to say, and start setting some of these daggone things. I think I've got about an hour of daylight left. One hour. Here's the car path. Obviously it's, it's muddy now, but this John Deere skid loader will start struggling pretty good right up here. Actually, I'm gonna have to throttle up a little bit. That's full throttle. We're gonna put the stones on that right side. There'll be a tee box up here. And the reason I had that extra tee box, from that launch pad right there, you've gotta shoot between these two narrow trees. So we'll still have a tee pad up here for the higher handicap golfers. Because from back here, it's gonna be tricky just to get through the gauntlet. We've got all different sizes, so right now it's just a matter of trying to make it look good. Like this one, I think this will go first. It'll go kinda of like yay. So I'll get, to go like that. So I think my trench is, I think it's wide enough. There we go. not gonna just lay in there like we want to the first try right so it's a little laying downhill so let's get get it wiggled 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 still don't like it that back side needs to go down more see that right there spent too much time on this let's get this one set got the stone set I'll show you here in just a second but right now we need to go ahead and get our grade on this tee box now this is gonna sell around these rocks so whatever I do here we're gonna let some rain and stuff get on it oh didn't mean to do that so that that edge will settle and I have to figure out some mulch or something to give us a buffer zone between the stones and the artificial turf that we'll set up here. Maybe some nice clean gravel. That'd probably look good. And then eventually I'll actually probably throw a little mortar in between some of these stones just so it's not a freaking snake pit. Because this will get some good morning sun that's all I need, a bunch of freaking snakes out here living on the tee box. So close. I'll have to pull this up. I'll have to regrade this, compact it. This is definitely a temporary wintertime deal. Just want to get a shot. 
Yeah, I just want to get a shot off. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. So once it, uh, we got some drier conditions where I can work this better, I'll compact this sand, I'll screen it out level, compact it. We'll actually put this down for real. For now, it's just temporary. Let's hit a bolt.